Hey guys, how are you? Wendy Kim here of Your Dream Realize Coaching. Um, so I was I am so fired up to talk to you guys today and one of my favorite shows to watch is Shark Tank. And I be, I know Shark Tank has a cult following and I think the reason that people love to watch Shark Tank is they want to really see, do they have what it takes to be an entrepreneur? Could they maybe be one of those people up there pitching in front of Mark Cuban and actually getting a deal? And really, it's like fantasizing for most people because when you think of it, only 4% of people actually have their own business. So it made me just think about my topic today, which is five myths that will kill your business even before it happens. So I am going to do a top five list here, David Letterman style, where I'm going to count down, okay, number five and number two and the number one reason and the number one myth. So myth number five is the myth, I don't have time. I don't have time to start a business. I hear this so much, I cannot even tell you. Uh, Recently, I reconnected with a friend whom I haven't seen in a while. This guy has been talking about starting his own business as long as I've known him. Really, even before I even had my own business, possibly. And so he's been talking about it for years and years and years. So I I was just like, what's the deal, man? Like, I know you've spent tons of money on different courses. I know you read all these books and listen to all these podcasts. And yet he has yet to do anything business-wise. So I asked him and he's like, oh, well, I just don't have time. I've got this job, my job's super busy, I'm traveling, I'm doing this, I need time with my kids and my wife, and and he, and it was funny because I was throwing out suggestions, I was like, well, what if you did this, what if you, and I was like, okay, well, can you find one hour in your day? Because if you can find one hour in your day, you can start a business. That's how I started my business. I know many entrepreneurs who've started their business on one hour a day. And he was like, no, because I have to do this. And I was like, okay, well, you're not a victim. You're not a victim to your schedule. You can decide to cut certain things out, whether if you're, if you have a part-time job, if you have this and that, you can decide to change your schedule so you can find one hour a day. And if you can't find one hour a day, then you're really not passionate enough to start a business because you need, you need to have that passion. The number four thing, um, number four myth that kills businesses before they even start is I don't have enough money. And so again, very similar line of thinking and that's just a lie because nowadays so many resources are free you can have a Facebook page for free you can use your personal Facebook profile which I use a lot for my business you can use a LinkedIn profile for business obviously eventually you want to get a website which you can get for super cheap but I know people who have successful businesses who don't even have a website. So that, again, is a lie. And it's something that people hold on to as another excuse not to start their business. Number three, when dot, 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 dot. When I have more time... When the kids are a couple years older, when I have more training, when I have this, then I can start my business. 
Um, I hear those excuses so often. When I get this in place, when I get the perfect website, when I, and again, these, these are all lies. These are myths that stop people from having their dream business and having their dream. And I think about like how many businesses are never born. And that makes me really sad. And really it's my mission to help people to give birth to these businesses. Um, so yeah, that's a huge one. Number The number two myth that really stops and kills businesses before they're even born is, my job's not so bad. Like, I should be really grateful, right? I have these benefits. I make this amount of money. The name of my company is this. I should be grateful, right? Like, it really, I, I don't have it so bad. Um, I remember with my job that that's how I felt for a while. I felt like, oh, okay, I, I work for a great company. I make good money. I get free soda. My company has a cafeteria. It's really not so bad. But that was something that was holding me back from pursuing my dream. And I think it holds a lot of people back. Maybe it's holding you back from pursuing your dream. But really what it is is fear. It's because it is scary putting yourself out there. But really is is your dream, is your job going to make you happy? Are you happy? What if you're in the same place three years from now? Is that what you want in your life? You don't have to live like that. And drum roll. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so the number one myth that will kill your business from ever happening is someday. Because so many people use this and they say, yeah, someday I will start my business. Someday I will pursue my dream. And it's sad. It really, when I see that, it makes me super sad. Because literally that excuse or that myth or what, or that belief, whatever you want to call it, is holding you back. Because you just think, oh... I can always do this in the future. I can do this next year. I can do this the year after. How long have you been thinking that though? Like how many years have you been thinking that? And how is 2017 going to be different? When you look back at this year, how much has changed? Is it the same old story? What's going to make 2017 different? is stopping yourself from saying some day and actually taking action. And you can literally do that today. Even if you're scared, even if you're like, I don't know how, or I don't know if I have the money, I don't know. Like you can literally start your business today by deciding and by committing that you will. And I can help you with that. So if you want to make... 2017 different if you want to have an action plan to actually realize your dream please private message me or email me and I would love to talk to you because that's what I live for I am so grateful for my life and my lifestyle and being able to have meaningful work to be able to help people and I want that for everybody So thanks for listening to me. Feel free to comment or put any questions. I love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.